Well, hello there. This is Brett with Clear Sky Images, and today I would like to talk to you about a very useful tool in Google Earth where you can send us in precise views to shoot for aerial photos. Typically, when you send us a site, you go to our outline tool on the website, you outline your specific site, you send that over to us, and we know to get close-up shots, medium shots, and wide-angle shots all the way around your property so that you have a wide set of images to choose from when you're going to do your marketing. Well, sometimes you need something a little bit more specific or you want to make sure that we get something that you are trying to communicate to your clients. Well, you open up Google Earth. Let's just type in a site. All right, so here's an area in Dallas, Texas. And let's say that this little building over here to the right is our site. So you want to do more than just outline your site. Well, come up here in the upper right-hand corner around this circle, and if you press and hold on the I symbol and push up, tilts the earth. And I like to push up until I get to the horizon. And then now I will come back, try to find that site, wherever it was. Where was it? There it is right there. Okay, so this building here is our main subject area. So you can imagine if you wanted to send me a site that said, hey, I want to capture the highway system that's in front of my site looking towards town. Well, now you come up to the circle, click on the north icon, the little N here, and just rotate this until you approximate what you're looking for. And I also turned on 3D buildings over here in the bottom left-hand corner to really give you the perspective of what we're looking at. One thing you need to make sure of is that you're keeping an eye on your altitude settings over here. We like to keep it between 1,000 to say 5,000 feet whenever we're shooting aerial photos. Anything above that, things start to take more time, get more costly, and we don't want to have to charge more money. So if you keep it around, if you keep it around those ranges, everything should be good. So I've gone down to 2,000 feet here, showing knowing that my site is actually this building right here. If you like this view, you stop it right there. You go up to File, Save, Save Image. Give this thing a name. We will call it the, well, I will call it the North View. It'll save it to my documents. You hit Save. And that will create a JPEG image right to your documents folder or whatever folder you chose and simply attach that to your email and continue to do this with as many views as you think is necessary to capture what you want. It's a really nice tool. You can zoom in closer, which is basically dropping down an altitude. And there are several ways that you can accomplish this zooming. Uh, one way to do that is to basically double click and that will zoom you in, but it's sort of hard to gauge because you can't double click to back out. So I have a wheel on my mouse that I can use and the wheel can go in and up. If I push it forward, it zooms me out. If I go back with it, it zooms me in. But there is another tool over here on the right hand side, which is basically the altitude slider. And as I'm going down in altitude. It's also bringing me in a little bit based upon the angle that I'm at. So it's not only is it bringing me down, but it's also bringing me straight into this point here that it thinks is the center of the image at that angle. So this is one of the, probably the easiest ways to zoom in and out to get to an altitude that you're looking for is just to use this slider. It's a very smooth transitional tool. The only thing the tilt view can't do is zoom in like a lens can zoom in like we were at this specific altitude but yet we take our lens and zoom into this location so that you may only want to see this area but from this direction so then you could basically send us this view and if you have an outline tool yourself such as Photoshop or something that you can edit the image you can draw a box around the particular angle that you would like and then I would know to fly up to 3300 feet and then zoom in on what you have outlined in your box. It's a wonderful tool. I really hope this has helped you, and I look forward to seeing your sites and providing you with amazing aerial photos. Have a great day. Thanks so much.